Hello everyone, this is Brenda, owner of Zacklin Associates Legal Nurse Consultants. In the last Surgical Sunday video, I discussed physiological effects of the sitting and semi-sitting positions, best practices, and special considerations. Today's video is about Trendelenburg positioning. Trendelenburg position involves the patient in a supine position with the head down and feet elevated. Patients may be placed in this position for surgical procedures involving the abdomen or when needing improved access to pelvic organs. This position places extra pressure on the occiput, scapula, olecranon processes, sacrum, coccyx, and calcaneus. This position causes redistribution of the blood supply from the lower extremities to the central and pulmonary circulation, which can lead to decreased perfusion of the extremities, increased central venous pressure, and increased intracranial pressure. Venous return from the head decreases, leading to venous pooling. Because of this, patients can experience increased intraocular pressure, swelling of the eyes, the lips, and tongue, and laryngeal swelling, which can lead to respiratory distress and a delay in extubation. When stomach contents shift proximally, the risk of reflux and aspiration increases. Respirations may also be compromised in obese patients because the viscera can compress the diaphragm. Based on the needs of the surgical team and physical limitations of the patient, the patient's arms should be tucked at the sides with the arms and elbows in a neutral position. The palms should be facing the body and without hyperextension of the elbows. It is appropriate to provide extra protective padding if needed. AORN recommends that shoulder braces should not be used if possible. If they do need to be used, the nurse should make sure the brace makes contact at the acromioclavicular joints. Use additional padding to protect the brachial plexus as needed. Cardiovascular and respiratory systems of obese patients can be compromised when in the Trendelenburg position and should be avoided if possible. Did your client suffer an injury from faulty patient positioning? Trust our team at Zacklin Associates and let us help you identify how the standard of patient care was neglected. This is Brenda Zackel, bridging the connection between medicine and law.